Good morning, Greg. This is the Dave Ross Show Early Edition. Well, finally, Wall Street is getting a pay cut. The cash salaries for the top 25 highest paid employees are going to be slashed. Only 25? No, no, no. Then there's going to be another, say, 150 top earners where Feinberg says the cash salary cap will be $500,000. Okay. 25 plus 150, a total of 175 people. Wall Street's problem was that 175 people were getting too much money. So the rest of Wall Street gets to party on? I think you'll see a brain drain at these larger firms going to private firms. There's no reason for them to stay. It makes no sense. So they'll just jump from the regulated firms to the other firms that are still allowed to pay as if 2008 never happened. On the theory that if a company didn't get government bailout money, it's none of our business. You know, if the stupid decisions made by these firms affected only them, that would be one thing. But tell me. Have any of you been affected by the decisions of firms you didn't even do business with? Yeah. Last year was Wall Street's other 9-11. That was the year we learned that for all the blather about the government taking over, the effect of government screw-ups on our lives is nothing compared to the effects of corporate screw-ups on our lives. It was the day we realized that what was good for Wall Street was not always good for America. It was the year that we really found out the profit motive was actually a profit addiction. Mainstream talk radio always asks, why can't the government be run the way Americans run our families? Well, you know, the American family woke up last year to find out that Uncle Wally was a crack addict, and they know that he needs more than this little needle exchange. Frankly, I'd call him Pat O'Day. This is Dave Ross, back at 9 with the Dave Ross Show, News Talk 97.3, Cairo FM.